April Wood with Charles Ashley Mann and Associates, and this is Dr. Ashley Mann Hello with us everybody. today. So September is National Gum Care Month, and World's Alzheimer's Day is the 21st. So we want to talk with you today about the correlation between um, gum disease and Alzheimer's. So first of all, Dr. Mann, let's remind everyone what gum disease is. Well, gum disease is periodontal disease, and most people don't know what periodontal disease is. They've heard of gum disease, but basically it's a chronic disease, which means you don't have a lot of pain. It's a very silent disease, but it occurs when certain bacteria get up under your gum line and live around the tartar buildup that occurs on the teeth. And that bacteria gets underneath uh, the, the, uh, the gums and it causes the bone to start eroding away from around the teeth. Or in, an, in another nutshell, your, your body is eating that bone away because it knows that bacteria is bad for you. And the implication is, over time, if you don't get that treated, your teeth will fall out and you'll lose your teeth. Okay. And what is the correlation between periodontal disease and Alzheimer's? Well, we've had some exciting news in the past month. Um, there's a, a company called Carbazon out of um, California. And they've been doing a study for about uh, 10 years on the cognitive disorders of Alzheimer's. And they're trying to uh, find a direct link of what's causing Alzheimer's. And some exciting news came out that one of the bacteria um, that causes um, periodontal disease is called Porphyromonas gingivalis. Long name. <laughs> yes. Uh, short, we call it PG, so that everybody understands. But it produces a toxin. And that toxin gets in the bloodstream and travels to the brain. And it causes that beta amyloid, that protein buildup that we're seeing in between the cells of the brain. And that's what starts Alzheimer's disease. So this company is coming out with a shot that they're going to start hopefully giving um, once it's FDA approved to Alzheimer's patients to pro, um, block that toxin so that the am beta amyloid doesn't build up. So it's very exciting um, and uh, we hope that probably within the next few years, no more than five years, we'll have some uh, form of a solution uh, for Alzheimer's patients. That is very exciting. And lastly, how is our dental team helping patients manage gum disease? Well, the first thing is to diagnose it. If you have that porphyromonas gingivalis, you want to treat it so that it doesn't lead to Alzheimer's or diabetes or heart disease like we know um, occurs with periodontal disease. So our girls are very good. They will measure your gums. Every time you come into our office, we measure your gums because 50% of the population has periodontal disease. It's the number one disease in America. So um, diagnosis is very important, but treatment is also very important. We don't um, just give everybody a, 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 the same approach. Everybody's an individual, and there's many different treatment modules that we use or collectively use, um, anywhere from putting people on systemic antibiotics to going in and um, irrigating pockets um, and then having them come uh, a little bit sooner to the dentist to get that tartar off uh, so that the uh, periodontal disease doesn't reoccur. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, be sure and drop those in the comments, and we will get back in touch with you. Thank you.